So welcome for another lesson, uh, Longitudes and Latitudes. In this lesson, I want us to cover Longitude and Time. Longitude and Time. Longitude and Time. Longitude and Time. Therefore, <coughs> we find that uh, Places in different longitudes have different times. And we are going to see how the time difference comes in. Uh, it is very definite that uh, the earth rotates in a west-east direction. So that if this is zero degrees prime meridian, zero degrees equator, it is spins such that east to west or west east such that the west part of prime meridian is going to the east is going to the east so it rotates in in a, in a west east direction a west east direction means that now the places in the east will face the sun earlier than places in the west. Before the places in the west come to the east, the ones which were in the east have already gone to the other side. And you find time in the eastern part is an edge than time in the west part. Therefore, if these are longitudes in the west, longitudes in the west, and other longitudes here, find this is the west, this is east. So you find the longitudes in the east are ahead because these ones are rotating, going to the side where the east is. Therefore, you find the rotation of the earth is such that all the places are equal in time. Therefore, if you have place A here and another place B along the same same longitude, time, time at A at any given moment is equal to time at B. But now, you will find a different place, which is somewhere here, which is in the east. Therefore, you will discover that A and B are ahead in time than C. Therefore, we know that the whole globe, the whole sphere of the earth, has 360 degrees. And that 360 degrees are covered 360 degrees of the whole half are covered in 24 hours and each 24 hours 60 minutes. Therefore, 360 minutes or degrees, they take 14, 40 minutes. 360 degrees are covered in 14, 40 minutes. This means that each one degree is covered in 1440 out of 360 which gives us four minutes therefore from one degree to the other we have four minutes such that after four minutes another degree after four minutes another longitude after four minutes another longitude such that four minutes times 360 longitudes this will give us 14, 40 minutes, which make the 24 hours in one day. Therefore, it is not that for every one degree difference in longitudes, there is four minutes difference in time. Therefore, now, another thing to master, which is very important, is that something else to master very important is that... Uh, Time in the east is ahead of time in the west. Therefore, given time in the east, for us to calculate time in the west, we take time difference. We take time difference because the place in the west must be behind in time. 
we first of all calculate longitudes, then we know the longitude difference. With the longitude difference, we can get time difference because for each degree, we have four minutes. So we can multiply the difference in degrees in the longitude times four minutes each to know the time difference. After knowing time difference now, we can either add or subtract depending on the position of a place with reference to the place whose time is known. Let me give an example. Let me give an example. We are told that uh, a place Q, which is a uh, 40 degrees north, 40 degrees north, 80 degrees west, and another place P, which is 40 degrees to the north, but uh, it is 40 degrees to the west. P is 40 degrees north, 80 east, Q, then P is 40 degrees north, 40 degrees west. If the time at Q, the time at Q is 8 a.m., find the local time. Find the local time at P. Find the local time at P. Find the local time at P. So we can sketch those two places such that 40 degrees to the north is where the two places lie. 40 degrees to the north is where the two places lie. The two places lie. Then at one place is 80 degrees to the east. 80 degrees to the east. Here is where we find Q. And P is 40 degrees to the west. P is 40 degrees to the west. 40 degrees to the west. Now, we can check that the time difference between P and Q can be gotten by the difference in longitudes. One place is 80 to the east, the other place 40 to the west. Which means the difference in time between or the difference in longitudes, difference in longitudes between P and Q is 120 degrees. And 80, 40 to the west, 80 to the east. This gives us a longitude difference of longitude difference, longitude difference. difference will be 40 and 80 giving us 120 degrees then the way we have related the time difference we have known that for every one degree there is four minutes which means for 120 degrees for 120 degrees we will have four by 120 giving us 480 minutes for 80 minutes now when we divide for 80 minutes by 60 we are going to get eight hours so the difference in time between p and q is eight hours eight hours this means that this means that time at p is behind because p is in the west so the time at p is behind behind. Remember the earth is rotating in a west-east direction. The west part going to the east. Therefore, east is ahead in time. The spinning of the earth is such that it is going to a west-east direction, such that the west part is going to the east. So, because Q is ahead in time, then P is behind in time by 8 hours. That means time at P. Time at P 
time at P is 8 a.m. minus 8 hours, which takes us to 0, 0 hours, which means exactly at midnight. Exactly at midnight. A new day is starting at midnight. We can consider two places which are on the same the same side, the same side of the prime meridian. Two places on the same side of the prime meridian. We can talk of A. A is a or the coordinate of A is 60 degrees south. 60 degrees south, 50 degrees east, while B is 60 degrees south and uh, 140 degrees, 140 degrees in the east. Find the time find the local time at place B if it is 11 that a.m. 11 that a.m. at A. So it is 11 that a.m. at A we want the time at B. So we can sketch the two places. Sketch the two places. So you find 60 degrees to the south. 60 degrees to the south. Then one place is 50 degrees to the east. So A is here. 50 degrees. Then B is 140. So B is B is here, 140. Therefore, the difference in longitude between B and A is, this one is at 140, the other one is at 50, the same side, which means angle difference is 140 minus 50. The angle difference will be 90 degrees. Therefore, the difference in longitude, 40 east up to 140 west, the difference in longitude is 90. Which means if one minute is four minutes, the 90 degrees will be four by 90, giving us 360 minutes. And this is six hours, time meters. So difference between A and B is six hours. It's very important to note that even though the two places are in the east, then B is ahead because it is far east compared to A. So A is just some degrees from the prime meridian. But B is too much to the east. Therefore, even though two places are in the east, one might be more east than another. Or rather, B is ahead in time than A. Therefore, for us to get time at B, then we will have this time. We will have these hours. Therefore, from 11.30 at 6 hours, the time at B will be 17.30 hours, which means 5.30 in the PM. 5.30 in the PM. Therefore, B is ahead in time because it is far east compared to A. East, a place is, then the far is in time. So that is how we get time differences for two places on different longitudes. longitudes sorry. And just to remind you, if two places are on the same latitude, then those two places have equal time or they are at equal time, except two places or as opposed to two places which are on different longitudes. So thank you for following, subscribe to Shifting Grids and share this link. Thank you.